God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Mother Earth is going to burn up. Stop protecting her. Protect yourself with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away all death to the earth. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, The tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Not a happy news for an atheist. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there any be more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. The words that I'm reading to you by God are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving, the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers, idolaters and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm going to a place prepared by God where you're not going to be. Rejecting Jesus Christ, you're not going to New Jerusalem. You'll go off in a lake of fire, which burneth forever. No pain, no sorrow, no tears, no liars. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the Spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of the heavens from God having the glory of God, and her light was like unto the stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. 
It had a wall, great and high. New Jerusalem has the walls that you Americans don't. The walls in New Jerusalem will keep people out like you. Sinners who reject the Lord Jesus Christ. So those that don't like walls won't like heaven. It had a great and high wall. It had twelve gates. And at the gates, twelve angels. And the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. On the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. The city lieth far square, and the length is as large as the breadth, and he measured the city with a reed, twelve thousand furlongs. And the length and the breadth of the height of it are equal. I'm reading to you the place where people who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that are saved are going. Jesus said in, in John 14, I go prepare a place for you. My Bible says mansion. God only gives the best. And the building of the wall was as of Jasper. And the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper. That's not the friendly ghost. The second, sapphire. The third, chadoni. The fourth, an emerald. There's your emerald city. It ain't going to be the Wizard of Oz. It's going to be God the Glory. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Son. The Holy Spirit. The fifth, Sardis. The sixth, Sardis. The seventh, Chrysolite. The eighth, Beryl. The ninth, Topaz. The ten, Chrysophis. The eleven, Jasmine. The twelve, Amherst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Are you telling me there's twelve Peters standing at the pearly gates? My Bible tells me that your doctrine is wrong. Because my Bible tells me there are twelve pearly gates. Peter has one, the, the other eleven apostles have their gates, and all the judgment is done and gone and finished by now. You got to read your Bible. And the street of the city, the street, not streets, the street of the city was pure gold as if it were transparent glass. Upon the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will walk on what man treasures, gold. And most of you Americans in Daytona Beach, Florida, have not ever seen
true, real gold. Oh, 14 carat, yeah, but what's that? Well, I'm going to a place that says pure gold. It'll be much better than the gold if there's any in Fort Knox. I don't know, they may be lying to you about that. But the God who cannot, will not, is unable to lie, has told me that I will walk on a street of purest gold. I will have a city garnished with all gemstones. And if Jesus Christ is the light, and he is, imagine the beautiful rainbow in glory and holiness with no sin and no sodomite. Your rainbow you stole from God and Noah. I will wait for the day for Noah to kick your butt and lie about God. The rainbow was a promise that God made to Noah and animals. It has nothing to do with your sexual orientation of filthiness and abominability. You gotta read the Bible. And when you read the Bible, the Mr. Bongo man starts bongoing. I'll have to bring that my book next week and read to you that. That is nothing new, my folks. There was a preacher that was locked up in a Virginia jail for preaching on the street. And when he came to preach to his congregation, guess who they hired to interrupt the service? Bongo Man. Thank you. You know, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about. And I'm joining in the Lord. All right. I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God of my... No temple. Hey, no Mormons. No temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. The center attraction of heaven glory is God the Father and the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not about me. And it's not about you. So, as an atheist, you don't want to go to heaven. Because we will worship who you don't believe in. And if you are me, myself, and I, you're not going to like heaven because we're not going to worship you. We're going to worship God the Father. So, if you hear the words of God week after week after week, and you don't want anything to do with God, you don't want to have anything to do with heaven. Because heaven's all about God. We preach all about God. Keep reading. The city had no need of the sun, no bear worshiping, no beaches, no bikinis, no suntan lotion, no bail, neither the moon, no asterisk, no moonstruck, no lunatics, no full moon, no werewolves. I keep losing my place, excuse me, to shine in it. For the glory of God did light in it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. There is a place where God the Father and God the Son will shine their light. And if you've been a dealer here week after week after week out of John chapter 3, you know who that light is. It's the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light 
all there. And the kings of the earth do, kings of the earth, uh, Americans don't like kings. So Americans don't like the Bible. In the Bible, there, there's only three presidents. And one of the three was righteous, and two of the three were wicked. I can't find one Bible-believing Christian who was an evangelist in the White House since George Washington. I have never heard a president stand up and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and witness. At all. Including Bush. Do bring their glory and honor onto it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day. For there shall be no night there. A place of no darkness. A place with no shadows. Put yourself into a safe and close the door inside that safe and you will still have the light of God. And they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. And there shall no wise enter into it anything that is defiled. Thank God. As much as you don't want the Bible, I don't want you that don't want the Bible. You don't want my company, you are not going to get my company in heaven. Well, it's kind of cruel for a preacher to say, Hey, the Bible says, Go ye all the world and preach the gospel. It doesn't tell me I have to love you, but I do. I love you enough to tell you what you're going to get when you die. Heaven or hell. We're trying to show you what God expects from your life. But if you continue to reject the Lord Jesus Christ, you're no friend of mine. My friends love the Lord Jesus Christ and honor His Word. Neither whatsoever work is abominations. Do you know what the abominations of the Bible are? Maybe I should bring to you one week what the abominations are to God. And for anybody who has not read the Bible ever would be quite surprised to see that God of love has hatred to sins and sinners alike. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Or maketh a lie. Liars are not in heaven. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Is your name written in the Lamb's book of life by believing on the gospel of Jesus Christ, that Christ died for your sins according to the Scriptures? You have to have the scriptural life and the scriptural Jesus to be saved. That Jesus not only died on the cross, but they buried him. He was dead. No life. No breathing. Put inside a tomb. Three days 
days later, according to the scriptures, the angels proclaim, He is not here. He is risen. That is the difference between man and Jesus. He is no longer dead. He is no longer buried. He is seated at the right hand of the Father at this moment. And at least 413 people witnessed the resurrected Christ. You only have 100 people here to witness anything. But 413 chosen people saw the Christ that died the Jesus that was buried and assured he is alive and well today. Believing on that Christ will put your name into the Lamb's Book of Life whereas you will be born again, saved, by the power of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that was shed upon Calvary. If you got anything else that you are relying on or that you are denying, you are as lost as lost can be. You will not go to purgatory. You will not go to heaven. You've been lied to. All liars will have their part in the, land, in the lake of fire. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever in the lake of fire. Satan is tormented forever. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. There goes the earth. And there was found no place for them. For I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. There is a life after death. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God, including atheists. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged, judge, judge not least you be judged, you're going to be judged one day by God. Get off your high horse. If you don't want me to judge you, God will. Judge out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. God is writing a book about your life. He's making a list, checking it twice to find out who's naughty or nice. Behold the eyes of the Lord and the evil, naughty, and the good.
Even the song has it scripturally correct. But it's not Satan Claus. Oh, wait a minute. It's not Santa Claus. It's God the Father recording your life. And one day your diary, your biography will be opened before God. And at this judgment, there will be no born again in your life. Because here you are, and if you're at the great white throne judgment, you are lost and condemned. And you will face the wrath of God. Because you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. A little music for preaching. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Now Satan has already gone into the lake of fire and is tormented. Now you are cast into the lake of fire. Guess what you will be? Tormented. And let me teach a, a strange doctrine, if I may. Your father, Satan, will never stand before God at judgment. He's already in the lake of fire. Now people are cast into the lake of fire, as they will declare God is holy, and Jesus Christ is Lord, as they are cast into the lake of fire, which burneth forever. Satan's already there waiting for you. You see, Satan's comfort is you will be tormented with him. He doesn't want to burn alone. And the Bible says, suffer to bring the little children unto him. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. How do you get your name in the book of life? Acts 16.31 What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.36 He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son shall not see life but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Romans chapter 10 Romans chapter 10. I can be louder, Mr. Bongo Man. If thou, shalt if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, the gospel, thou shalt be saved. I'll go as loud as your bongo guy will go. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him should not be ashamed. For well, there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? Here you are. 
How are you going to know what God expects from you if God doesn't send a preacher to you? You're not going to know. You're going to believe a heresy. You're going to believe a lie. You're going to believe science, which is false. But God will send preachers with the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? God and the Bible has sent me here to you. Did God speak to you? Yes, He did. Mark 16. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. <laughs> there you are. You people that Daytona Beach Farmer's Market are written in the Bible. As people who have rejected the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your name will be void in the Lamb's book of life. You will be cast into the lake of fire where torment awaits you. Whereas if thou shalt believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved, you will go to a place called New Jerusalem, made by God, lightened by your Savior, which will take away all your pain, in heaven, not here. You'll still have pain and sorrow and tears on this earth, but in glory, pain, sorrow, tears, are gone forever. You want a health care program? Go to God Health through Calvary and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And in glory, the Bible records you'll even get a new name, a new identity, and a new body. Salvation is by the Lord Jesus Christ. Lake of fire is by anything you can think of and anything you can do outside Jesus Christ. But God will put you into the lake of fire because you have rejected His Son. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And no gift is forced. A gift is, if you want it, come and take it. It's free. If you don't want it, you don't get it. It's called a free will. But the Bible urges you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. God's not willing to any perish. That's why He gave His Son. God is long-suffering. Oh, they keep seeing Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus hasn't come. Yeah, He's doing that because of you. He wants you to come to Calvary before He comes for His bride. One of these days, your second 15-100 chance will be over. 
and the Christians will be gone. Then you're out of luck. Now is the day of salvation, Hebrew says. Rest assured, God is right. God is true. And the one that made hell for Satan and his angels will cast you into it because you have rejected his free gift. And the one that will receive the free gift will be welcomed into his glory before his throne by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which cleanses from all sin. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world.